World Athletics has described it as the most engaging World Athletics Championships ever. A record 2,100 athletes from 195 countries participated, 46 nations, four of them from the English-speaking Caribbean, Jamaica, Barbados, BVI and Grenada secured medals. NACAC, which governs Caribbean federations, ended as the top region with 20 gold medals. There's North America in there as well, Central America and the Caribbean. And Jamaica, the region's leading nation in track and field, the Caribbean's leading nation finished fourth on the table with three gold medals but get this only the USA secured more medals Budapest 2023 reminded us that track and field is alive and well as it captivated record audiences around the globe it all came to an end on Sunday sadly with Jamaica securing silver in the women's mile relay this is the final medal standings the United States of America topping the table with 29 medals, 12 gold, 8 silver and 9 bronze. Well, Canada had an amazing championship, 6 medals, 4 of them gold and they had 2 silver medals as well. Spain pretty much walked their way into third position. They won 4 gold medals, all of them in the race walking competition and they had a 5,000 silver medal as well from Qatar. Jamaica finishing in fourth with 12 medals, 3 gold, 5 silver and four bronze. Kenya rounding out the top five. They had three gold, three silver and four bronze medals for a total of 10. The British Virgin Islands, um, they had a silver medal. Barbados had a bronze medal and Grenada uh, through their decathlete Lyndon Victor also had a bronze medal. To recap, this most remarkable championship is our in-house analyst, Leighton Levy. Um, Leighton, we started that roundup by saying that World Athletics has described it as the most engaging championships ever. Um, where do you rank Budapest 2023 as far as best World Athletics championships are concerned? In terms of the complete package, I think it's... If, if it's not the best, it's certainly one of the best championships I've ever witnessed. It had everything. It had drama. It had records. It had stirring performances. It had everything that you needed for a complete package over eight or nine days of complete. There was never a day where you said, OK, that's a boring day. Every single day had its own drama. Every single day had its own outstanding performance. And it wrapped with a dramatic finish in the 4x4 relays. It, you couldn't ask for anything. I mean, you know, from a Jamaican perspective, it wasn't the way you wanted it to end. Yeah. But certainly, watching Femke Ball run that anchor leg and run down Stacey and Williams and nipping her at the line, it just encapsulated what all the championships were about. It just absolutely, you know, goosebump thing, you know, producing kind of performances on a daily basis. All nine days, it was fantastic. Yeah, and I don't think Netflix could have done as good a job in, in scripting a movie because yeah. Femke Ball fell chasing the gold medal on the opening day in the mixed relay and here she was on the final day of the championships getting by Stacey and Williams at the very spot that she fell face down on day one. If this was a movie, it was Oscar worthy. That's all I can say. It was ridiculous. I'm, I'm, look, I know there's a lot, there are a lot of individual disappointments in terms of what we were expecting. But when you look at it on a broader scale, in terms of your step back and take away the, the blinkers from a Caribbean perspective and look at the championships, you, had, you cannot complain. You know, no lies delivered on his three gold medals. I knew the workers wrote that as a request to begin with. <laughs> but, you know, three gold medals, they, you know, who would have expected what we saw in the 100-meter final? Sharika Jackson breaking her own championship record. We saw Kyra McMaster in the 200, sorry, Kyra McMaster, mm -hmm. you know, winning the first outdoor medal for the BVI in, in our global championships. Shelly and Fraser Price picking up an injury mid-race mid, mid race, uh, on the backstretch and, of course, still completing her relay leg to give Jamaica a silver medal, help Jamaica get a silver medal. You know, you we saw Faith Kim Egan doing remarkable stuff. Inga Britson losing the 15, coming back and winning the 5. There are so many different things, there are so many different talking points during the championship. So you'll be talking about it for weeks to come. Yeah, there is a, a statistic I read today where 13 athletes had position improving performances on their last efforts in field events. 13 athletes had um, performance, position improving performances 
and five of them improved to gold medals. Of course, the one we'll never forget is Miltiades Tentoglu um, beating Wayne Pinnock in the men's long jump final. But there were five such situations um, where, where the person improving in the final round won the gold medal and eight other situations where they improved um, most of them into medal positions. And, and that tells the story partly of how dramatic and just thrilling these world championships were. From a Caribbean standpoint, Leighton, we expected Jamaica to do well, and the Jamaicans did well. Fourth on the medal table, BVI one medal, um, Barbados one medal, Grenada one medal, Trinidad and Tobago for the third consecutive world championships finishing medalless. How would you um, analyze, sum up, the performance for the English-speaking Caribbean in Budapest? From a Jamaican, let's start with Jamaica. Since Jamaica won 12 medals at these championships, we expected 12, but certainly not the gold medals that we were expecting. Yeah, I think so, I had 5-2-5. Five, five. Yeah, I had four, four, what was it? I had 12, but four gold medals. We ended up with three, but not the ones that we expected. Yes. So yeah. I'd give Jamaica a B plus, mm. primarily because with the disappointment of Rashid Broadbell not getting into the hurdles final, yeah. Of course, Sherika and Shelley losing the 100 meters to Shakara Richardson, which was, I mean, look back at it, it's not really much of a surprise because she was always in the mix. Um, and But then the surprise, the pleasant surprise of Daniel Williams winning the 100 meter hurdles and, of course, Antonio Watson winning the 400, I think that made up for the, the, the lack of goals in the events that we expected them from. Yes. So I'd give them a B, B plus. Mm, you're, um, you're a hard marker, Leighton Levy. Yeah, but, you know, when, when you have. When you have the athletes to do the job and they fall short, not that you're blaming them, but you're saying they didn't live up to what was, ex not we were expecting them because they were expecting it, yeah. not necessarily us. Yeah. So they fell short of their own expectations. But overall, I thought Jamaica did really well. So I give Jamaica a B plus. Trinidad, I think, Trinidad's situation, I think, is, is a little different. Um, I'm not sure that Jerry would have medaled in the 400, but his injury did have an impact on his performance. Yeah. But he still ran 44.77. Mm -hmm. Outside of that, there was nothing to talk about with Trinidad, so I give them a feeling grade. Yes. Um, Barbados, they, re they re re replicated their performance from last World Championships, so I give them, I give them actually an A because mm -hmm. it's you're, just one athlete. Yeah, you're matching, you're matching the performance from the last mm -hmm. championship. Mm -hmm. Um, for who else was there? BVI. The BVI, I give them an A because you sent three athletes. Nobody was expected to beat um, Carson Varholm, so let's get that out of the way right away. Mm -hmm. But for Karamat Master to end up with a silver medal and create history for his country, so I give them an A there. Mm -hmm. And of course, who was the other country? Well, Grenada had injury issues. Lyndon Victor actually saved them there, mm -hmm. yes. but but. Anderson Peters, Anderson Peters mm -hmm. didn't deliver in the, in the, in the javelin. Mm -hmm. And of course, going back to Trinidad, Keyshawn Walker picked up an Achilles injury on the morning of the javelin. Yes. So, you know, but the thing about it is that so overall, I give the Caribbean a B mm -hmm. for the performances. Mm -hmm. Yeah, before you come in, Sir Lance, I, I, I hear Leighton, I would say I would actually give the Jamaicans an A. So Leighton says B plus, and yes, there are athletes that you expected to do better but at the same time, I think even when you look at the women's 100 meters, we always knew that Shakira Richardson could win that event, that Marie Jose Talou had a chance as well. So if one of the Jamaicans didn't win, it wouldn't come as a massive surprise. Mm. So, and when I just look at the, 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 the length and breadth in terms of the number of events that the Jamaicans did well in, the sprints, the hurdles, the jumps, um, even where they missed out on medals in the throws, a few fifth place performances, the, the overall package is an A package for me. For me, Barbados is a B and not an A. Mm. And part of why Barbados is a B for me, Leighton, is because I look at it from the standpoint of, okay, last year you sent two athletes and this year you sent two athletes again. More has to be done in the development of the sport so you are qualifying more than one or two athletes to these global events. So from that standpoint, it's not an A, it's a B. It's one athlete who is, who is doing well, and that athlete mm -hmm. put in an A-grade performance. But overall, 
it's not an A for me. And to your point, I mean, when you consider as well, for the, from a Jamaican perspective, the, the performance of Russian Clark, new national record. World under 20 World record. World under 20 record. Um, you know, breaking with up Graham's 30-year-old record in the 400 meters. But the thing about it for me is why I, don't, I wouldn't say an A is because I think while the performances across the board were, for the most part, either at or above expectations, I think when you look at it on a, from a broader perspective from what we expect from in terms of the quality of athletes that we sent to these championships, some of our athletes didn't deliver at the level what, and I said, but not necessarily us expecting, but mm. they were expecting. Mm. And when you're not hitting your own targets, mm. it means that you're not performing to what you expect, so, so, and because you're not doing that. So, so would, would the disappointment of some of the athletes who didn't do as well as they could have or we expected them to, wouldn't that be outweighed by the ones that overperformed and d did beyond what we expected because no one expected Daniel Williams to win the hurdles. I agree. No one expected Antonio Watson to I win agree. the 400. So Few you expected two medals in the men's long jump. Yeah, so, you know, yeah. you, you'd have to balance it that way as well. Still B plus for me. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. okay, the hardest marker in the whole wide world. Um, now up to Jamaica now, the top team from the English-speaking Caribbean. Mm. A few big discussions over the weekend. The 4x100. No Elaine Thompson here in the final. Where do you sit on that very topical issue? Well, as I said um, the, on my last appearance here before on the Williams run, yes. run, I thought she should have been included in the final. However, mm -hmm. based on what I was told and what was eventually reported, is that they were offering her a spot in the final, but on a curve. And because of some physical issue. Yes. She was on it, similar to Celia and Fraser Price, she was on it, it. Interesting that you brought that up, Leighton, because my information tells me that is not true. Really? That she was never offered a spot. Mm. Um, and Elaine Thompson Hero, based on her social media posts as well as some digging that I have done, um, was quite happy with not running because it was made clear from the get-go that she would be running the heats and that everybody was pretty much fine with the setup that she would be running the heats yeah. and they knew the four that would be running the final there was no contention um, in the setup of the team and about who would run and she is saying well i am fine but i was not offered any spot in the final well, so don't well, make false that's actually conflicting to what i heard because the source that i got it from was pretty reliable mm. and they said that she was it was stated clearly that the she was unable to run a curve but if that's what you're hearing that we find out when they get home but, but, but there are two different things you know Leighton because sometimes we have to be careful with how information like this comes mm. down because I find that sometimes administrators might have a conversation with an athlete and the athlete may say, well, I'm unable to run the mm. curve. That doesn't, by extension, mean that a spot was offered, offered. to her in the Agreed. final. Agreed. It could well be that they had a prior conversation where she said she was unable to run the curve and then goes, well, the curve is the only thing that we have, so it makes no yeah, sense having the conversation with her. So yeah, we would have offered her the, the position, yes. but since yes. she can't run the curve, yeah. it makes no, no sense, sense we have the conversation. Point so, taken. Mm. So, you know, but that was the information, but as I said, I was, I was unable to verify, because I planned to write the story, yeah. but I was unable to verify it, so I didn't write it. Because yeah. if, I, if I can't get a second verification, I'm not going to deal with that story. Yeah. Anyway, but overall, I thought the, the 4 by one a lot of people are shipping, you know, Jamaicans are something else. A lot of people were complaining about the fact that they should have used other people in the relay, whatever it was. I thought the setup was fine. As you know, my preferred option was to have Brianna Williams start, but Natasha Morrison started and started well. The only issue on that relay for me was the fact that Shelly and Fraser Price got hurt on the backstretch. Had that not happened, the outcome may well have been different because she had, she had yards on Tanisha Terry. And it's only after the injury because you could see she was, it was very clear that she was slowing down significantly yeah. on the backstretch. When the she front. was about to hand over. Yeah. So, you know, Tanisha Terry closed that gap. Had that gap been maintained, Shasha Lee Forbes, I believe, would have handed over before... Um, before Gabby Thomas, Thomas, Thomas did, Thomas. and then the outcome may have been different. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I was fine with the results. I was fine with the outcome because of the injury. I was fine with the 
the way the race was executed, I thought Natasha Morris ran a really good leg. Mm -hmm. I thought Shelly started out running a good leg before that great one hamstring tear happened. And I thought Sasha Lee Forbes and, and Sharika all, all, all ran well. Yeah. So I'm 41, 40, 41 point two one was it? Yes. Is what the second fastest time ever run by a Jamaican team or third fastest? Third fastest. Third time. fastest. There's a forty one zero two the, yeah, yep, at the Olympics. That's not a record, yeah. And a that should have been a world record. Seven, that was the world yeah. championship record. Yeah, so I don't have a problem with that. Americans ran forty one zero three and they ran well. The, the changes weren't perfect, but they ran well. And I thought to the winner goes the spoils. We got a silver medal out of it. But the way a lot of I saw a lot of, a lot of traffic on, on social media complaining about winning the silver medal. I, I, I find it befuddling yeah. that you could put a team together, a young woman runs a backstretch, sacrifice, potentially sacrifices her career mm -hmm. by completing the leg and completing so that the team could complete but the wouldn't, wouldn't a lot of those comments have come, though, before people realized that Shelley was hurt? And a lot of them a lot still of them. came after Afterwards, they realized yeah. that yeah. Shelley was I hurt. I just have one quick comment, though, before we end this part of the, the, the discussion, because I, I hear a lot about, you know, the best championship ever and so on. Has track and field suffered a, a decline in recent decades? Because I was at the Stuttgart World Championship in 1993 when Linford Christie won the 100, Frankie Fredericks the 200, Michael Johnson won the 400, Haile Gib Gibra Selassie was a star, Sergei Bubka, Merlin Nutty won her first. And that was a tremendous meet as far as I'm concerned. And it was one of the best world championships that I, that I knew of. Maybe because I was there, it felt a little different. But um, I, I just think that sometimes we forget some of the big events of the past when the glory of the now events hit us because I, the 93 was, speci was no, special. No, no we're so not. Is it that uh, Travis Bill is trying to make a comeback then? No, you, you bring up an extremely because, important point, right, Lance? Yes, yes. Because when I thought about whether this was the best world championship I had seen, yes. I thought about 93. No, I wasn't around. Well, I was around, <laughs> but I, I don't remember yes. seeing 1993 yes. live. Yes. But when I look at all the videos and events from 1993, when I look at the crowd, yes. spectacular. Yes. The performances were, and, and, and were the, spectacular. And, and the, and the, iconic performers Formative. of that time. Yeah. Sergey Bubka, yeah. Michael Carl Lewis lost yeah. the long jump final to, to Mike, Mike Powell, Powell, which was his, one his of his teammates. But for sheer, for sheer drama, Lance, yes. yeah. drama. I think this Budapest 2023 yeah. still stands out above yeah. even 1993, yeah, because, even above 2009. Yeah. Yeah. There, there are arguments for 93, and I agree with you entirely because I was totally engrossed with that as well. Yeah. Um, but when you look at, for example, 2009, when Jamaica blew up in Berlin. That's right. That was fantastic as well. Yes. But this one, this one, it, it was, it, this one was more than just about the performances. Yes. It was, a, as, as the Ricardo said, lines, it was the a storyline, the drama. Yeah. When I you look at that, but I ball, think... who expected her to, to fall yeah. five, what, 10 meters from the line? Or five. Uh, yeah, it could have been five. <laughs> First of all, I didn't expect her to lose based on where she was. Yeah, yeah. it was. And, and then, she was about to lose, listen, which is why she was, fell. You know, and then, of course, when you look at the triple jump with your, your Rojas barely making it into the final. Yeah, yeah. I was talking to Tiala Fund, and she said it was so annoying when she came back and jumped 15 yeah. You know, but it, it, there are so many different I accept stories. the drama, though. Yeah. I just, I just yeah. wanted to put a, a different spin it, it, on the it, discussion. It, in yeah. my opinion, Lance and Leighton, as we go to the break, um, I think track and field has peaked with individuals in the past and with certain events in the past but i think for the first time at least since i have been watching this sport i saw it peak as a sport yeah yeah we take and, a break and that wasn't due to rob walker's commentary <laughs> because he, he kept singing that it was part of the drama even he acknowledged it we take a break when we return we'll be chatting noah lyles and the world champions